टॉप आईपीएस ऑफिसर एंड फॉर्मर मुंबई पुलिस कमिश्नर परमबीर सिंह टुडे रिसर्फेस आफ्टर मोर देन टू हंड्रेड डेज इन हाइडिंग ही ज्वाइन इन्वेस्टिगेशन इन वन ऑफ द फाइव केसेज वेर ही हैज बीन डिक्लेयर अ प्रोक्लेम्ड ऑफ फेंडर बट इज ही a whistle blower or is he a part of a system under investigation only channel to nail parambir singh's location only channel to trace and speak to parambir ye batayenge aap investigation join karne ke liye aaye ha main investigation join karne aaya hu supreme court ke aadesh ke hisab se not one but two mega exclusives Will you be cooperating with the investigation? I will definitely cooperate with the investigation as directed by the Honorable Supreme Court. I will honor the orders of the Supreme Court. Only channel with 100% Parambir case files. Only channel with Hafta Gate documents. Other channels clueless. today has found missing parambir we will also get you the latest in the investigations also on the news track it's ganna versus jinna in jewar uttar pradesh and in punjab congress chief navjot singh siddhu threatens to go on a hunger strike against his own chief minister charanjit singh channi we will also get you that story at 8:30 this evening i'm gorav savant action pack 60 minutes as always let's get started with the headlines politics takes off over jewar airport akhilesh yadav says bjp builds airports only to sell them chief minister yogi adityanath declares people will have to choose between the sweetness of the sugar cane and the hatred of jinna Jolt to the Congress party. Rahul Gandhi fails to placate former Meghalaya Chief Minister Mukul Sangma as he, along with 11 other Congress MLAs, dumps the party to join Mamata Banerjee's Trinamool Congress. War of Sardars reignites in Punjab. Navjot Singh Sidhu threatens to go on a hunger strike if Chief Minister Channi doesn't make the sacrilege. and drug case reports public heavy rains last tutti koran in tamil nadu several localities inundated water logged roads med department issues a red alert now india take honors on the first day of the kanpur test against new zealand deputant shreyas ayer and ravindra jadeja Crunch 50s to take India to 258 for four at stumps. Top serving Indian police service officer Parambir Singh today resurfaced in Mumbai. He had been in hiding for more than 200 days. Some said he'd fled to Hungary, but India today told you that he was hiding in Chandigarh. He was in Chandigarh. He was Mumbai's police commissioner. He went underground after multiple cases of extortion were registered against him. He, in turn, has accused the Maharashtra Home Minister, former Maharashtra Home Minister Anil Deshmukh, of allegedly being involved in a 100 crore rupee extortion racket. India Today was the first channel to track him. The question remains: Is he a whistleblower or part of a system that is? Now in question, Sahil Joshi brings you a top story. The second he touched down in Mumbai, India Today got him. हमारे साथ हैं परमबीर सिंह पूर्व मुंबई पुलिस कमिश्नर सर ये बताएंगे आप इन्वेस्टिगेशन ज्वाइन करने के लिए आए हैं हाँ मैं इन्वेस्टिगेशन ज्वाइन करने आया हूँ सुप्रीम कोर्ट के आदेश के हिसाब से और सर ये जो केसेस केसेस रजिस्टर किए जा रहे हैं उस पर आपका क्या कहना है सर नहीं मुझे कुछ कहना नहीं है जो कहना जो मुझे कहना है कोर्ट में कह चुका हूँ कोर्ट में ही कहूँगा बिफोर अपियरिंग एट द क्राइम ब्रांच वी कॉट हिम अगेन 
Uh, I will definitely cooperate with the investigation as directed by the Honorable Supreme Court. I will honor the orders of the Supreme Court. You expect that you will get relief from the Supreme Court on the 6th of December? I have uh, brought all the facts and I expect justice. What, what do you expect? Uh, what do you think about the cases registered against you? Uh, whatever I have to say, I will say it in the court. While other channels sit clueless and blustering, India today got former Mumbai Police Commissioner Parambir Singh on camera not once but twice. For over 200 days, this man on your screens was missing from Mumbai and untraceable. And India Today told you first that Parambir Singh would be landing in Mumbai from Chandigarh. So, here, the Mumbai Police Commissioner Kandiwali Kaimbranch Unit 11 in the office. Today, the CD exclusive tasweer is here. You can see how it is going to join the investigation. में चार से वो यहाँ पर नहीं थे और अब यहाँ पर वो इन्वेस्टिगेशन को ज्वाइन कर रहे हैं और अब यहाँ पर आ चुके हैं एक यहाँ पर पुलिस हमें कह रही कि भाग जाए यहाँ पर वो है पूरे इन्वेस्टिगेशन को साथ देंगे परमबीर हिस टचडाउन इन मुंबई डेज आफ्टर द सुप्रीम कोर्ट ग्रांटेड हिम प्रोटेक्शन फ्रॉम अरेस्ट Parambir Singh's statement to the crime branch is the biggest focus in the Maharashtra Haftagate scandal after a damning conversation was released between Parambir and the Maharashtra Director General of Police. Write a letter withdrawing allegations against Deshmukh. Say allegations against Deshmukh were a sudden outburst. Don't write about ending inquiry against you in the letter. First, send an unsigned hard copy of the letter for me to check. Then send a signed copy of the letter through proper channels. We will negotiate ending the investigation against you over a letter. I am on your side. But we won't give letter until demands are met. Meanwhile, the Mahavikas Aghadi has lashed out at Parambir, questioning why it took so long for him to cooperate with the agencies in their investigation. This is a very इस स्टेट के पुलिस के प्रमुख रहे हैं उनको अगर खतरा लगता है उनके जान को तो किसी से खतरा है क्या खतरा है वो बताएंगे तो देख सकते हैं सुप्रीम कोर्ट में उन्होंने कहा है कि मुझे गिरफ्तार ना किया जाए लेकिन कोई कितना भी बड़ा व्यक्ति हो अगर गुनहगार होगा तो गिरफ्तारी होगी अगर कोई कानूनी अड़चन है तो निश्चित रूप से सरकार उसे दूर करने का काम करेगी the biggest development yet in the Maharashtra Hafta Gate with Parambir Singh now joining the investigation. What fresh trouble will it spell for former Home Minister of Maharashtra Anil Deshmukh? With Sahil Joshi and Divyesh Singh in Mumbai, Bureau Report India Today. Incidentally, Parambir Singh had submitted transcripts of his purported conversation with Sanjay Pandey, Maharashtra Director General of Police and the Supreme Court, and the transcripts, if true, point or indicate that there was perhaps a massive cover-up. The DGP is purported to have told Parambir Singh that he will not be able to take on the system. Is that why Parambir Singh went underground for 200 days? Can he or can he not take on the system? Was he a part of the said system or is he a blow whistleblower? Joining me on the news track, Dr. Miram Borvankar, former Police Commissioner Pune, Shaina NC, spokesperson of the BJP, Bridge Mohan Srivastav, spokesperson of the NCP. And for a legal perspective, we have Ashutosh Srivastav, an advocate in the Supreme Court of India. But I want to quickly cut across to Sahil Joshi, our executive editor, who joins us uh, from Mumbai for more on the story. Sahil, you and Divesh were the first to track Parambir, the only two who knew that Parambir was actually landing in Mumbai and joining investigations. What transpired in these investigations and the questioning through the day today, Sahil? Well, it was pretty, well, obvious, it was pretty after obvious, obvious after the Supreme Court's uh, order that day that uh, he has been given the protection. And more importantly, Supreme Court in its order clearly mentioned that uh, meanwhile, uh, that is uh, on the 6th of December, the Supreme Court has asked the Maharashtra government and uh, CBI to file their replies. But meanwhile, uh, the Supreme Court has clearly stated that Paramvir Singh should join the investigation. So obviously, he had to come and join the investigation once the protection has been given. What he was trying to uh, avoid is the arrest from the same police force which he once led uh, while uh, being a Mumbai police commissioner. 
So obviously, uh, when he got the protection, he decided to join. And the other aspect to that is also that he was declared a proclaimed offender. So obviously, to get that order cancelled, uh, he needed to come uh, to the Mumbai Crime Branch Unit 11, which is uh, investigating uh, the extortion case against Paramveer Singh. Now, most importantly, what happened in uh, today's investigation, that he had uh, given most of the answers what the police was as uh, asking for. But what the joint CP crime told us is that uh, this is not the end. Of okay. course, he has not been called immediately tomorrow. But uh, he will be called whenever it is required, is, uh, is the open-ended uh, answer which has been given by the police at this point of time. So we'll have to wait and see that where this goes. Because obviously, one thing is very clear, that all these cases came forward, okay. all these FIRs came forward only and only after... He wrote that letter and the CBI and very the interesting, came very, into very interesting. Against, you uh, point out uh, the sequence against, of uh, events. Deshmukh. Yes, stay with me, Sahil, stay with me. Bridge Mohan Srivastav is Parambir Singh then a whistleblower or an accused in a multi crore extortion racket? These cases were registered against him only after his letter to the Chief Minister of Maharashtra on the 21st of March, sir. Uh, Gauravji, I agree, I totally agree with you. And when Paramir Singh has written a letter against the, uh, the then Home Minister Shri Anil Deshmukhji, when he was removed from the post of CP uh, uh, Mumbai, so it, it is it's having no meaning. You are saying that he's a, he may be a whistleblower, but in our opinion, he is not a whistleblower. Why the whistleblower will hide from the law more than two, 230 days, 230 days? It's a surprise and a person who is a designated IPS officer. And the government has given responsibility to him to control the law and order and implement the law and order. Yes. That man is uh, not uh, obeying the art, uh, law and order. It is a surprise. And it is, uh, I, okay. I think uh, he, he is having no uh, face to save him by saying that I, I, uh, the High Court has, uh, the, the Supreme Court uh, directed me. Why, uh, why was the need of this? Shaina NC, Shaina NC, Parambir Singh, why, you why know, as Mr. Srivastava points Supreme out, Court. has multiple cases registered against him. So, is he an accused or a victim of a system that no, he is, claims uh, to have spoken against? Today, nah, today it, it's very God difficult has, to sir, say give me a moment. Let Shaina NC respond. But, but Let's keep this conversational. Clear. I'll come back to you. Mr. Srivastava, hold on. Let Shaina NC respond. his responsibility to properly conduct the this is not about whether he's a victim or whether he's a whistleblower. The issue here is this is the most corrupt government Maharashtra has ever seen. For the first time ever, you have a police commissioner who was a, a, absconding for 200 days. You have a home minister who was in jail, is questioned for many legitimate and illegitimate transactions. And you have a cop on a record who has not been suspended by the Maharashtra MBA government if he was corrupt and if this was an extortion racket which was exposed and which he had actually taken job in 2020 February. Now, since then, up until now, if there has been this extortion racket of which the NCP very clearly is a part of, which is whether it's bar owners, whether it is haftas, whether it is collection racket, if he was doing wrong, sir, why didn't you suspend him? Answer that question first. Then he is absconding. Then okay. he is back. This is seems like a. What does this do for the actual morale of the police force? And if you actually are more than the morale of the police force, what does this do you have for Mumbai as a city and, a and Maharashtra as a state? Question. The ED has been summoning uh, Mr. Deshmukh. Let, let me bring in Dr. Let me bring in Dr. Miran Gorbankar for more. Ma'am, give me a moment. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Step. You know, let me bring in all our guests for their opening comments, and then we will open. This uh, and you have for a discussion. Chief Minister, Give me a moment. Forget, uh, Give me a moment, ma'am. Dr. Borwankar, ma'am, you've Chief been Minister. a top cop in Maharashtra. We would think police officers are very powerful. They are law enforcers, and that too, when you've reached a rank or when someone has reached the rank of a police commissioner. Here is a police commissioner who was absconding for 230 days, as the NCP points out, and then in the Supreme Court puts out a transcript. Wherein the DGP is reportedly saying, you can't fight the system. Ma'am, what do you make of it? To me, it represents a reality, a very stark reality of how low in professionalism, uh, law enforcement agency and criminal justice system has been reduced to. Instead of taking this single case, 
I think we should talk of police reforms and India today has an audience which is more interested in the system than in individuals. It shows that system as it exists today is and being totally manipulated. And in this context, I would also like to flag the recent ordinance which says that CBI director and ED director can be given further extension up to five years. So what it shows is that politicians have reduced us civil servants into mere puppets and that is extremely bad for the citizens. Fair enough, ma'am. Blame the politicians, but what would you say about the civil servants themselves? Supposed to be the steel frame of our country. That that just shows how how malleable and ductile this this so-called steel frame is. I, I totally agree. So when we are asked to bend, we are crawling. But more than the civil servants, I would say it's the political leadership. Of course, we do need introspection, and we must do that. But the what I need to I want to highlight is how it is uh, causing extremely adverse impact for professional policing and how an ordinary citizen is suffering because of a system which uh, which has been reduced to no system at all. Oh, absolutely, ma'am. Absolutely. Ashutosh Srivastava, as a lawyer, what is your understanding? How would the judiciary look at Parambir Singh and accused in a multi-crore extortion case with multiple cases uh, against him or a whistleblower who had cases slapped on him when he went against the system, especially in light of that conversation, that alleged conversation with the Director General of the Maharashtra Police. Uh, see, I feel that it is a matter of investigation. See, whenever any FIR is registered against a person, obviously that person becomes the accused. There are allegations in the FIR against that person that that particular person has uh, at least to have committed certain offenses. But then it becomes a you know part of investigation. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, uh, so far as any accused is concerned, uh, the accused has the right as per the law to approach the uh, concerned court to have the protection. Uh, the basic purpose of law is to have the investigation when an FIR is registered, it just, uh, you know, puts the investigation into motion. That doesn't mean that somebody has really committed a crime. Uh, now, uh, in this case also, we say that he was absconding. Uh, it could be uh, from the point of view of the investigating agency. But when you look at, he had approached the courts by filing certain petitions before different courts for, okay. uh, you know, for quashing or maybe for some protection. So that means he was before the courts. Uh, it is not that he was absconding and he was uh, not at all present uh, through his lawyer before any court or before any law authority or agency. Very now, interesting as, you point that uh, out, that as, he was uh, seeking protection yeah, yes. from a system. Yes, uh, as rightly... Yes, so as rightly now, it has been ordered by the Honorable Supreme Court that uh, he should take part in the probe and he should be a part of the investigation. So he is now cooperating, uh, and which is what is expected from any ordinary Let citizen. me bring in Sahil and, Joshi for more on this. Sahil, um, is, he, is he cooperating, um, you know, as uh, Mr. Srivastav uh, seems to indicate? You've been speaking to your sources in the Maharashtra Police and Sahil, uh, you know, what's the buzz within the Maharashtra police, they've seen these transcripts, this conversation between the police commissioner and the director general of the Maharashtra police, where the DGP is apparently, uh, or is purported to have said, you can't take on the system, you're not so powerful, uh, you know, I'll, I'll try and help you out, but you need to do certain things. Well, uh, cooperating is a very relative term. You know, all the agencies use the word that uh, the accused did not cooperate and that is the reason why the accused has been arrested or the further action has been taken. So right now what we can say is that he is cooperating the investigation. That means he had joined the investigation, which he was not. And that is the reason why there was a non billable warrant and then he was declared as a proclaimed offender. So finally, after the Supreme Court gave him the protection from the arrest and asked him to join the investigation. Meanwhile, he has finally came down uh, to the crime unit and uh, sat in front of the investigating officer and answered okay. the questions which the investigating officer has uh, asked him. Also, the police has made it clear that right now they are not calling him, but if needed, he may, he may be called in future. He has been given such kind of a notice that whenever he will be called, he will need to come back uh, uh, to the in front of the investigating officer to all answer certain questions. Now, if, if I come to your second part of your question, uh, as uh, Madam Borwankar was saying, and she has been a 
uh, a very reputed uh, police officer in yes. Maharashtra police. Uh, she has served as a joint CP crime in uh, Mumbai, uh, Mumbai police as well. Uh, so she has handled the crime branch. So she knows it very well uh, that uh, it's very difficult to bend the system, uh, be it this government, be it any other government. Finally, the government is powerful and I think the Director General of Police, Sanjay Pandey, was trying to tell the truth. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the circumstances were completely different and it looks like that now it has boomeranged on him because that is one of the reasons why it seems that uh, Supreme Court thought that uh, the pressure has been uh, put against uh, Parambir Singh. Uh, the government's, uh, as per the government sources, okay. they are claiming that they never asked the DGP uh, police to speak to Paramvir Singh uh, about it but Param, uh, finally the conversation is there on the record and he did tell Paramvir mm. Singh that uh, take back your letter otherwise yes. there will be consequences it's something yes. which is completely on the record not and, only in the and Supreme does that, Court does that tantamount about to, to intimidation here is a director general of police a superior officer and you know I'll come to Madam Borwankar to, uh, to respond to that aspect but before that Bridge Mohan Srivastav as a representative of the NCP is there merit in the contention that multiple FIRs were registered against Parambir Singh after he accused Maharashtra Home Minister Anil Deshmukh of this 100 crore rupee extortion? Wasn't Parambir Singh before that a blue-eyed no. boy of the Mahavikas Agadi government till this, this March 21st letter to Maharashtra Chief Minister Uddhav Thakre? All officers are the blue-eyed boy of the every government. Because you have to give responsibility to the officers. It, so you can say that that officer is a blue-eyed boy of the Unless someone. You but the main question is this, that when Mr. Parambir Singh man. was removed from oh, a uh, uh, CP Mumbai, both. why he has written a letter against the Home Minister? Why before that he has not uh, written the uh, letter? It is also a question. The same thing with the pupils who have written, uh, who have filed a complaint against him. Because when people feel that now they are free uh, the, and they can uh, speak against the uh, city of Mumbai. Then they started speaking because he was, they, he may threat them, a person okay. who was making, he was the mastermind of this Antilia uh, the, the, the kind. So you can understand how powerful he was at that time. So people were afraid of him. Therefore, they were not able to speak against that gentleman. Now, it is the matter of the investigation. Now Fair enough. The question also remains, who will carry out that investigation? Now I, I, the let invest me bring in uh, Meera Borwankar, but before that, China NC. Can I just... The cases quickly, registered yeah. against Parambir Singh are extremely it, serious, I, I madam. Serious cases. Misusing why official position to Haryana. influence cases. Alleged extortion amounting to crores from bookies and so on. Hold on, Mr. Shivastav. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, sir. Is the BJP you know is the BJP using him to settle scores the with the Uddhav Thakre government? government is more corrupt, who was not who was giving protection this to a corrupt a, a, government a, 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 in Maharashtra? <coughs> all they needed to do when Mr. Parambir Singh came out with the revelation of the hundred crore extortion and the kind of practices that the Home Minister uh, misuses the administration for, they should have suspended him. They today. didn't do that. Paramvir you Singh haven't suspended him single, till now. Single, you have just proof put case it, after case. Sir, this is speaking, a cover-up attempt only, only for your corrupt practices. We are not here to defend anybody. If at all, we are here to stand with a police force that was known world Why over was in as the Madam? Mumbai Police Please Force. Give the Look at you. You Why are a corrupt government where your home minister's question by for money laundering. You have a police commissioner that you did not even suspend. And then you make it out to be as if this is some great champion cause. Oh, you are not giving Do you understand price. whether Why he was in Haryana? Draw, victim is not the issue. The issue is how did you manipulate the administration for your own gain? And if you have a home minister and a police commissioner, both in the state of Maharashtra in question, I think it's a sad commentary on your Mahabhinash Agadi. Sir, your government, please, there's no defense at all. One by one. Gaurabji, what was the reason? One, one by one, sir. Please ask, ask the China ji why, why Mr. Khattar uh, 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 has not given information to the Mah Maharashtra police that Mr. Paramvi Singh is staying in Haryana. What Haryana police sir, was doing? First thing you should have done when this revelation because they were getting was to support from the BJP leadership. One by one, you Mr. Paramvi Singh was getting support from the BJP. Therefore, therefore, the uh, Mr. Khattar was not in position to inform Maharashtra police. My, my request to both our guests is to speak one by one. You see CM sitting there 
and a silent chief minister what does that say for the people of maharashtra one by one not, not, it's a not a single single you proof have a silent mr bonabin singh has given uh, also uh, once again chief chief bring in investigation dr mira porvankar into this conversation ma'am here was parambir singh parambir singh he was heading the mumbai police a top ips officer who knows the system was a part of the system and not just a part the leader of the system and suddenly he says he has no faith in that very system and then seeks a cbi investigation ma'am is there merit that what would people in mumbai what would people in maharashtra say about the mumbai police the the maharashtra cadre of the ips and uh, and about governance in maharashtra ma'am so i would say that the system in maharashtra especially uh, as far as police is concerned had become has become extremely corrupt and it is known both to the current government and also to the past government for anyone to say that they are not aware that instead of rule of law personalities are dominating it will be a total lie and the tragedy today is that if state police is uh acting at the behest of state politicians central agencies are being totally controlled by the central government so where is the professionalism yes i am again and again flagging the issue that police reforms should be taken up by citizens by media as the top most agenda state police is being used by those in power in the state and cbi to which we at one time used to look upon and i have also worked there is also being used by the politicians in the center the way out is to encourage professionalism and to ensure that rule of law due process of law prevails and media and citizens uh, and the civil society which you may today mock about are the ones who can ensure that let's ensure that all political parties put this police reforms in their main agenda then you won't have a repeat of what has scandalized all of us today oh absolutely you know scandalized is the word uh, given the kind of money that's being talked about given the kind of alleged subversion of the entire system that's being talked about and ashutosh shrivastav isn't the case against anil deshmukh the then home minister of maharashtra based merely on hearsay that's the point uh, you know that that is being made on the broadcast the allegations leveled by pa parambir singh were on the basis of a statement reported to have been made again by a tainted police officer sachin waze and on wednesday i believe uh, on wednesday sachin waze told justice k u chandiwal commission that minister deshmukh's ps uh, sanjeev palande apparently never made any demand for money so where does that leave this entire case against anil deshmukh Uh, see, I I feel that uh, you know the case which is against uh, Mr. Adil Deshmukh is a separate uh, case which is already going on, and the investigation is under progress. He uh, the ED is behind him. He is already uh, been arrested for uh, you know the inquiries, investigations, and all the relevant documents, evidences, or the statements of the witnesses related to that particular case is already under process. Uh, so far as this particular case is concerned, Mr. Parab B Singh. obviously this is another uh, set of fias which has been registered against him obviously uh, you know there will be a separate investigation so far as this matter is concerned no but uh, is that is there that, sahil uh, we, is there any corroborative evidence um, oh, you know no, this allegation sahil is extremely serious home minister of maharashtra stood accused the then home minister of maharashtra stood accused of this 100 crore rupee um, uh, extortion racket being involved in that so, extortion racket and now vaze claims I, this was never made This is the I feel that uh, you know uh, let this invest investigation continue and with okay. this investigation now. Sahil, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. You know uh, about that particular investigation. Now it has moved forward. What the ED is claiming now, and even the CBI, that they want to investigate the other part of the letter, which deals with the transfers and the postings. Yes. Now Parabir Singh has gone ahead and told the Chandiwal Commission. So there are three separate inquiries going on. One yes. inquiry, uh, the commission set up by the Maharashtra government, uh, CBI registered a case uh, on the basis of P is what they have claimed. but anil deshmukh's uh, team got out the preliminary inquiry report which apparently said that uh, uh, fir cannot be registered against anil deshmukh so there is a separate fir for leaking that particular report 
and the uh, CBI is investigating into that. On the basis of CBI's uh, uh, FIR as a predicate offence, Enforcement Directorate has started another inquiry and now they have got into the transfers and postings, the report filed by Rashmi Shukla. Now that has become really interesting because now they have been calling uh, various top officials from the Maharashtra government. The Chief Secretary was called day before yesterday. He informed them that because there is a uh, cabinet meeting, he cannot come. He has been given a summons again. The CBI has been calling the Director General of Police as well as the Chief Secretary of Maharashtra. Another Minister, Anil Parab, was also yes. called at Enforcement Directorate. The MVA uh, 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 leaders are claiming that ED and CBI are being used to politically target them. And most importantly, please understand, most importantly, the Maharashtra government has taken a stand in the court that the CBI, which is being led by Subodh Jaiswal, who was a former Director General yes. of Maharashtra, Maharashtra Police, Police, was part of the Police Establishment Board, which looked into the transfers and the postings. There is a Police Establishment Board, which yes. finally decides uh, as per the protocol. Uh, and he was part of that. How can the CBI investigate that particular matter? Is the stand taken by the, uh, by the Maharashtra government? The CBI is saying that the Maharashtra government is trying to sabotage their probe. So, you know, there are multiple angles to that. And as rightly said by the Supreme Court, the case has become completely murkier. Curiouser and curiouser is what the word uh, Supreme Court has used. So there are multiple angles to that. Finally, where this investigation will lead to or it will uh, die down its own death, it's something what we have to uh, look no, into the in future. In fact, uh, in hushed tones, uh, there, is, there is this talk about some kind of a compromise that is being reached. But before I bring in China and see, um, Miram Borwankar, Dr. Borwankar, Till the time these police reforms are carried out uh, and, and all of that happens, is there a solution in mind? Would a court-monitored investigation perhaps be the only way forward uh, where, whether it's the police controlled by the state or forces that are controlled by the center, uh, you know, CBI being called cage parrot and so on, only a court-monitored investigation is the way forward? Yeah, I agree in this uh, this murky situation as has been uh, uh, talked of by the courts. Uh, I think court monitored uh, investigation, that is the only way out. And maybe clubbing all these cases together uh, so that one, uh, you know, it's it's very it's become very thin investigation so bringing all the cases together and uh, closely monitored by court that could be one solution yes okay vij mohan shrivastav your former home minister he's in jail facing very serious charges of extortion your Without former police move. commissioner was absconding as you say for 230 days your high flying police officers so called encounter specialists and so on are in jail Sir, what signal does this send out about Maharashtra government, Maharashtra administration and governance? Governance came after the criminal justice. What criminal justice is doing? A person against him, no charges is proved. The Mr. Paramir Singh has not given any proof till today against Mr. Anil Deshmukh except that letter. There is no proof at all. Mr. Vajay already withdraw. He is saying... In, the, in front of the commission that I am having no proof of it. But that gentleman is, uh, that gentleman behind the bars and the person who is having who, who is having no proof, he, uh, but he was claiming he is, he is absconded for 230, 230 days and he was sitting in a BJP government state in Haryana. And the Haryana police is also Sir. not knowing. This Mr. Paramir Singh is staying here. What is going on? You, It, it is a totally... A, 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 we, we, Everybody is able to understand what is going on, what the governments are doing, what the Haryana CV uh, intelligence department you, sir, was doing, whether they were not knowing. Mr. Paramit Singh is staying in Chandigarh. Okay, China NC wants to respond. Your channel was knowing, so is I think it is better to. to I think China has given the reply. What the Haryana police was doing. Into power by default. What the Haryana police was doing. You are raising questions against the Maharashtra government. Police, but you must, you, by must raise, extortion, you must raise and question if you feel that is Haryana not substantive, then the if he was wrong, doing. why didn't you suspend him, sir? You're not answering that question at all. 
If this is oh, not the Maha Vinash Agadi, what no, is it, no. sir? Uh, 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 Maha Vinash Agadi would kick off the people of India. Why you are not giving reply of the Haryana police? About what the Haryana, Haryana the government was doing? You have Whether not they were sleeping? forget who Whether is they insulating. They one by one, one, one by one, one by one. Who is interested in people. insulating what is the, what, a victim what or a victim? Haryana police was doing. We only want the truth in the public domain. And that has been the endeavor of the party of the party. Unlike yours, that is the corrupt government that is the police shielding. He has gone some other country, whatever, 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 and why the why the haryana police has that money laundering charge this issue right? dr borwankar no, if i may dr borwankar for the last you word ma'am the news. transcripts and you didn't even suspend them okay the transcripts ma'am submitted in supreme court seem to indicate that the system the system it's very very alarming for those who have faith in the power of the state the dgp is reportedly telling parambir singh that do not fight the system withdraw the letter sent to the chief minister in such a system is is this your appreciation ma'am that perhaps a police officer or police officers need to be brought in from some other cadre to handle the system in an impartial manner no i don't agree maharashtra police has very good officers uh, from constable up to the dg level only thing is the competent professionally strong Uh, knowledgeable officers can never become the favorite of politicians there is no dearth of absolutely outstanding inspectors acps dcps and um, above so we do not need an officer from outside in fact our k our file for uh, dg is i think pending with the upsc get that cleared we have very good extremely competent officers in maharashtra at all levels leave us alone only citizens should take interest in us and politicians should let us work professionally that's the way out ma'am having seen the mumbai police in action during 2611 mumbai terror attacks and investigating terror attacks before that um, i completely agree with you very very competent officers uh, at ground level in in the maharashtra police and they've held the country in good stead but this actually is a very sad chapter what's the way out is it then perhaps just a court monitored investigation to all my guests many thanks for joining me